Subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to never miss an update from Kautilya's Fincast. Welcome to Kautilya's Fincast for May 21st to 31st. 2021. Let's begin with corporate news. Alphabet Incorporated's Google recently revealed that it would be opening its first ever physical retail store in the city's Chelsea neighborhood near its New York City campus, which houses over 11,000 employees. Persistent Systems Limited has entered an agreement to acquire select assets and employees of Shoreline Systems for a maximum purchase consideration of $2.5 million. National Carrier Air India has suffered a major cyber attack, in which the personal information of passengers, including passport, contact, ticket information and credit card details were stolen. People who have access to a portal developed by the hacker are using the data to spy on customers by checking their location along with order date and time. The company's customers' financial information is safe. The travel portal will look to give a partial exit to its investors through initial public offering. Ixico is planning to file its draft red herring prospectus for the 1,500 to 1,800 crore rupees IPO in July this year. The base issue size for the secured redeemable non-convertible debentures is 5,000 crore rupees with option to retain over subscription of up to 2,000 crore rupees. Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited reported an over four times jump in its quarter four net profit at 11,940 crore rupees against 2,777 crore rupees in the previous quarter. Packaged goods company Nestle India is stepping up marketing efforts in response to global reports that a significant portion of its foods and drinks portfolio failed to meet recognized standards of health and nutrition. Tata Sons has acquired a majority stake in online grocery seller Big Basket, putting the Indian conglomerate in a direct race with e-commerce players Amazon, Walmart's Flipkart and Reliance Industries. Mobile fueling platform Tank Up will guide 1,000 new entrepreneurs in setting up and running a business in door-to-door delivery of diesel in line with the government of India's flagship initiative. Infosys Limited has cut its carbon emissions by nearly 46% in financial year 2021 mainly through the successful enablement of work from home. Reliance Geo has partnered with Japanese gaming giant Sega to bring the company's Geo Games store. The partnership will allow users to download Sega's games in India through Geo set top boxes, smartphones and other devices. Let's begin with market news. French investment bank Societe Générale and Coptal Mauritius Investment bought 1.29% stake in Indian energy exchange worth 140 crore rupees through an open market transaction. Paytm Payments Bank has stopped providing banking support to cryptocurrency exchanges, such as Wazirx, Zepay, and Coinswitch Kubir. Tesla Incorporated Chief Executive Officer and cryptocurrency supporter Elon Musk said he has not and will not sell any of his Dogecoin holdings. India's stock market capitalization hit $3 trillion, fueled by a rally in small and mid-cap stocks on the BSE. Broking Industry Body Association of National Exchanges Members of India has urged regulatory authorities to reconsider the proposed 100% levy on day trade peak margins. Wazir X and CoinDCX trading platforms crashed on a surge in trading volumes as some investors moved to cut losses amid the rout in the crypto market while others looked for value buying options. Nasdaq Incorporated asked US regulators to remove a restriction that limits how much money companies can raise through a direct listing on its stock market exchange. The market capitalization of NSE hit a record $3 trillion, fueled by a rally in small and mid-cap stocks. On 21st May, India's oldest exchange BSE had achieved this milestone. Sensex crosses 51,000 for first time in nearly three months while the Nifty inched closer to its record high. The 30 share had last closed above 51,000 on the 10th of March. Dubai coin cryptocurrency jumped in value, after falsely claiming to be the official cryptocurrency for the city of Dubai. The token apparently jumped in value by over 1,000% in under 24 hours. Nifty hit a fresh record high, driven by positive investor sentiment while a rally in global equities lent support. The 50 share index hit a new high of 15,455, breaching the previous high at 15,431 on the 16th of February. 
FBI turned out to be net sellers for the second month in a row by taking out nearly 1,730 crore from Indian markets in May as the second wave of the coronavirus pandemic spooked investor sentiment. SEBI gave time till September 1 for mutual funds to comply with new rules wherein they are required to share details of risk, performance and portfolio to investors only for the scheme in which they have invested. SEBI asked listed companies to make disclosure about loans and guarantees provided by them to promoters or any other entity controlled by them on a half-yearly basis in the compliance report on corporate governance. Let's begin with economy news. The CHEC Port City Colombo Company, a unit of China Communications Construction Company, invested $1.4 billion for reclamation of land and construction of infrastructure adjacent to the Port of Colombo. In financial year 2022, the government has budgeted 45,000 crore rupees as dividend receipt from the central bank alone and another 8,500 crore rupees from nationalized banks and the financial institutions. Economic indicators such as the GST e-way bills, electricity generation, vehicle registrations and rail freight traffic displayed a slowing sequential momentum, reflecting the rise in the COVID-19 cases. Land Omus Realty Ventures, a company in the US, has released statements via advertisements and on its website stating it wants to invest $500 billion in equity into India's national infrastructure pipeline. India had seized and sold the shares of the Cairn in its first while of the India unit, confiscated dividend due and withheld tax refunds to recover the tax demand. Foreign portfolio investors withdrew about 6,370 crore rupees from equities markets of India but infused as 1,926 crore rupees in the debt markets segment of the India between May 1 to 21. Ten scholarships worth a total of over 149,000 pounds are on offer given for students and young professionals from India to pursue postgraduate study at four of the UK universities. The centres has formed 11 committees, each led by a ministry, to prepare action plans for transitioning from a linear to a circular economy in their respective focus areas. If stock brokering businesses were the benchmark for India's economic success, no one would believe that the country is going through its worst financial crisis in decades. Indian economy is now estimated to show growth rather than contraction during January to March of financial year 2020-2021. This will have an impact on the GDP estimate to full fiscal. Many countries including India are trying to grab this opportunity and inviting those companies to shift their base from China. India attracted records of 81 billion US dollars in the financial year 2021.